High Plains Technology Center, turning education and training into workplace success. Oh, back to school, back to school, to prove to dad that I'm not a fool. High Plains Technology Center, education at the speed of business. School is now in session. All right, here we are Wednesday morning. Taylor Burnett, High Plains Technology Center, sitting in with a just a gaggle of guests as we have. You know, this is the first students that we've had uh, on the show this year. But I don't know if they're really technically students since they're old men, kind of like you know me with things as well. But I'm going to let you guys introduce yourselves. Go ahead. Kenny Sherman. Ian McVicker. And go ahead, Jack. Jack Day is here. Okay, and he's leaning over. Jack Day is here as well. We can't, you know, because Jack's here to probably correct me. Uh, but, you know, one thing that we're very passionate about, one thing that we've done, one thing we're very proud about, we talk a lot about, is our wind technology class, advanced wind technician class, 20 uh, week course. And I thought we'd bring in two guests because applications are going to be due this month, uh, the 27th, I believe they are due. And, you know, it's just something to talk about, put back in people's minds. But we've always had the young guys on before with things. Uh, This next class is going to be a little bit different because, you know, it is in the middle of the year. It's not someone just graduating from high school. But I kind of wanted to talk about your two transitions because they're both unique, both neat uh, transitions into the wind wind, uh, technician class. So go ahead, Kenny. All right. I'm I'm putting you on the spot. Well, I've uh, I've been throwing trash for quite a while now, working (laughs) um, different jobs, uh, oil field here and there. Like I said, throwing trash for Harper and the city and whatnot. Um, My brother-in-law took this class two, three years ago, and he absolutely loved it and suggested it to me so all right that as soon as he told me that told me jack's one of the greatest people you'll ever work with second yeah <laughs> even though matt does embellish yeah right well, just a tidbit <laughs> easy <Just> a tid. <laughs> so yeah that's cool all right and he just talked you into it then right yes sir all yes right. sir he okay. loves it all right yeah, so I was in uh, composite manufacturing before this, and then, let's see, oil and gas before that, and both my brother-in-law and my brother uh, went through this class, and they sure enjoyed it. Uh, they had nothing but great things to say about Jack, and, you know, I it's a great class. I mean... Here it is, circling back to great things about Jack. You know, no, well, I don't know if he's going to be able to get out this door. His head's going to be so large. <laughs> so, yeah. But uh, I had a really good general idea about kind of a lot of these things, mechanical background and such. Um, but Jack really helped me connect the dots. And it's just, it's really a well laid out curriculum. And I think anyone who's even considering it should go talk to Jack or Taylor. Well, the cool thing about it is that you guys, you know, I've heard it come out of your mouth before, Kenny. You're looking for a, a career. Yes. You know, you're wanting that longevity. I, you know, Ian as well. You know, here you are. Uh, trying different things, but you know, the the sky necessarily is a limit with this. You know, Ian, you've seen your brother move up real fast. Yes, yes I have. And you know, yeah. even Luke has yep. uh, with things. Uh, but you know, Matt, it, it kind of is as well. Actually, yeah, doing some good things out at Siemens. So yeah, now. yeah, it's see Tech Six. You know, in such a short amount of time. So when we talk about that career, what's the one thing that's been the hardest thing for you to grasp? As older guys, no offense, but as older guys trying to relearn things, you know, with uh, going out into the class and everything, what's the one thing? Hmm. What's the one thing that's, that's been the hardest, I guess? And th- th- something you, you thought you knew and you didn't know, maybe. Maybe just some of my theory was just slightly off. So going through like even some of the basics and just going, oh, that, you know, that's not that's not how that goes. And definitely the safety. Yeah. Um, safety. You know, I mean, it just I had never been through some of those classes you know, some of those classes before and just having it all laid out. Like I said, the way you guys lay it out, it's just, yeah, it's, it's great. So yeah, perfect roadmap. It's all yeah. just right there. Yeah. What's the toughest subject that you guys, that you're dealing with right now? Of course you haven't gone all that way. I mean, you've gone the majority with things, but yeah, 13, gosh, 13 weeks already. Yeah, wow. Time does. Thir- this is the 13th week. Okay. Time does fly by. So let's see. Probably. Mm. Laser, have you done alignment? shooting VFDs. Okay. Yeah, I would say probably just connecting the dots on, on troubleshooting in general. Yeah. DC motors, AC motors. Because one, one thing I love that what Jack does is all the time when something faults out, what's the last thing you need to do, but what's the first thing a lot of people do? 
look at that last fault and figure that's where the, what's wrong, right? Right, right. He wants you to investigate and dig a little bit deeper. Yes. Right. And that's yes. what I think that's one of the coolest things because, you know, Jack before with the, being, you know, site lead and understanding what it is on on the job, you know, is teaching you guys the right way as well. Um, you know, so and the the funny thing is you here you are both older. You guys are going to be looked at as leaders, though, too, when you get on site, because there is kind of a young man's game. I was just out at uh, Traverse last week, and I get to see how many young students are out there, you know. But right. you guys you guys are in the class, too. I've noticed what you've brought, both have brought to the class. Can you talk that. about that a little bit, too? I mean, you know, what do they call you? And then she said, "Call him dad." And they call me uncle. <laughs> dad and uncle. What I love is they call the one that's older uncle. You know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, and it's different personalities. This is the biggest class that we've had. Uh, right. As we've gone on, we have grown with things. The wind energy, you know, aspect of life is just ever changing and ever evolving. Um, and you know, the beauty is, is yeah, there's still a lot of people to be. You know, you just named three awesome people that are out in the field uh, right. that you guys can even look to, too, right. is the crazy thing. I mean, you know, I used to call Ike the, the golden boy. He <laughs> kind of was... <laughs> I, I don't gun. know. I don't know. I'm, I'm seeing daddy and uncle uh, surpassing Ike a little bit. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know with things. Um, what was the one thing other than, you know, the, knowing family and having family into wind that interests you as well with the wind energy? I think just, that what we're seeing around here even though it's been here for what twenty plus years, yeah, because now? we've already done repowers in right. our area. So, yes, so repower's been done. However, I think it's just the tip of the iceberg, and I think I just want to be a part of this industry, you know. And I, I, I really, I think it's just going to keep growing. Yeah, yeah, looking for the innovation. Yeah, and what I love too is you know we talk about repowers, and you guys also talked about this. Both of you have oil and gas. I mean, yes, sir. Background yes, sir. and been in. I mean, I know one of you has a lot of oil and gas yes, background uh, with things. Listen, if you're a fan of Western Oklahoma, if you're a fan of Northwestern Oklahoma, we need all the energy we can. Yes. You know, just like oil and gas, all the oil and gas that we produce does not just stay in Woodward, America, or in Oklahoma. Why not export what we have? Uh, and that's what I love. If, if anybody has looked close to the tax rolls and to the tax paying, they understand that, yeah, we need all the forms of energy. Right. I mean, I, I, you know, it's something that I've talked about. And then, you know, one thing that I don't understand is why both can't work together, because I love them both. I mean, as, if, from being from Western Oklahoma, and Northwestern Oklahoma, we have to. Now, I used to cuss the wind because I grew up as a golfer. And you know that when I was a kid, when I was a kid, way back when uh, there was, you know, there wasn't any wind energy except over in Europe. Um, when we talk about things, what's the what's the number one cool thing that you've got to do? To what's the what's your favorite so far? I probably already know the answer, and I'm kind of setting it up on a tee. What's the neatest thing? Repelling out of the nacelle. <laughs> there you go. Yes, <laughs> yeah, it was it was the biggest rush a little oh, yeah. bit, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, and we have drone footage of that that we get to share later too with you guys. But I mean, that has to be one of the coolest things. Hopefully, you never have to do that in the real world, though. Right, right, right. right. yeah. <laughs> but better be prepared. Yeah. You know, uh, I know that Ian, you took uh, ART last week. You're in yes, ART sir. this week, Kenny. Yes, sir. What, what do you think? What's the what's the difference in the advanced rescue versus the normal rescue? What What do you think that has been the hardest thing? Was the hardest thing with that? Confined spaces. Yeah, confined spaces and just, you know. Being old. <laughs> being old. <laughs> oh, Jack. That was Jack in Jack the background. Jack with the zinger. Uh, let's see. The six to one, did some of those, and some of the, you know. The devices weren't bad for me. Okay. It right. was it was more just learning how to handle, you know, dead weight. Yes. yes. Honestly. Literally dead yeah, weight. Because, yeah. you know, the, the, I don't know if they told you, but I we got we have two dummies. They used to weigh 120 pounds. Right. I got have two of them that weigh 154 now. So or, now we know it's Taylor's fault. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> one one was purchased through a grant that we – well, the, the 120s just weren't realistic enough, to be honest. Right. right. Um, I, I don't know how many 120 guys – I guess we have a couple in this class that are that are in the, in the class. But, uh, you know, there's not very many opportunities to lift. 120 pound person so even 154 but you don't understand what dead weight's like 
Because it's it's a little bit about the geometry too, with what right, you're doing with right. the advanced rescue with things too. Yes, and yeah. you can't just sling them around. You gotta <laughs> Got act it. like it's a real thing. Yeah, take so care of them. With the hydraulics and everything, have you guys taken that? Yes, you get, sir. Okay, so yes, what sir. what's the what's the one eye opening experience? Because you know, I know that a lot of people around here feel like, hey, farm implements. I understand things and stuff. What's the one eye opening experience you've had with uh, hydraulics? I knew about hydraulic injection. I didn't know exactly what it was doing um so i didn't understand that you know it is dangerous on its own yes and so you know even if it gets into an open wound you know it can still eat away at the fatty tissue have you seen some of those videos or uh, pictures oh, yeah. it'll yeah. wake you up won't yeah. you yeah. that and, what, and how to fit a harness properly with things uh mm-hmm. you know when we talk about the average wages and the average thing that we're going in you're going into you know this is a career um you know, when you talk about safety, that's it, very paramount with things because you are 300 feet up in the air. It is electrified. You know, it's stuff that you have to respect. What's the what's the uh, number one thing that that kind of on the safety side that made you go, hey, I need to really pay attention here. I know everything, but what's that one thing? Go ahead, King. Um, prob- probably the pictures of the, <laughs> the guys the, who yeah. fell in their harnesses and had their leg straps loose. Yeah. Holy Christmas. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Live that, live that, radio. Way to go. That was you get bad. the gold star. I you know, maybe he's the platinum. I don't know. <laughs> I was going to say fire, but it just, you know. Yeah, the fire the fire thing was pretty crazy too, yeah, wasn't it? Up it was top, tough. Yeah, yeah. that would be yeah. Uh the, the, so the indoor 35 footer, what's the difference when that you guys felt climbing on that indo- indoor 35 foot tower versus going in that 125 foot? And then going out the side door and doing the rappel. Just feels like the real deal. Out yeah. there. You know, I mean, <laughs> that, that's it. Um, you could see your brother's sight from up there, yes, too. Did you yes, notice that? Yep, yeah. You can. Um, but I got to say, I mean, Jack gives you the confidence when you get up there. I mean, just his years of experience. And I mean, that's why I went up there. You, you know, the crazy thing is, is what we, we teach is respect, you know, know your equipment, respect your equipment, trust your equipment. It's what you really, truly have to. So inspecting is a big yes. deal. Like you said, the leg straps kind of a big deal, big deal. Uh, you know, when it comes out down to it. But you'd be amazed like what you said earlier. You would be amazed at how many technicians at times just forget that. Right. Just unstrap them. <laughs> yeah. Just the legs. Yeah, they're yep. not a big deal. <laughs> yeah, not at all. I can just not slide out of that. Uh, so, Jack, talk a little bit about this this class and what's coming up with the applications and everything and what your process is with that. All right. So, the upcoming class, what you want me to talk yeah, about? Yes, yep. so, yeah, yes. So, applications we're start, due. Uh, at, yeah, applications are due October 27th and somewhere around November. I can't remember exact date. Um um, we'll take those applications, and uh, Sheila Reason will will call those folks who applied, and we'll set up uh, interviews. So we'll set up a time to interview um, each and every one of you. So um, if you apply, we we hope that you can put a good phone number on there, and and uh, we'll get a way to to reach Sheila. Um, and then after the interview process, and we'll just select the uh, the. Um, the 18 or 20. Um, <laughs> so um, It's a really good inside joke, people. It, yeah, yeah, great inside joke. joke. Yeah. <laughs> or, or was it 19? Yeah. You know, then, uh-oh. Uh, so pro- we'll be looking for 20 again. Um, okay. Best qualified. There you um, go. Best fit for the program. Now that we're um, at 20, you know, Jack started this with 10, <laughs> guys, but now here we are at 20. We started so. out with eight. Eight, you're yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> eight, and then... And then we just we've crept up to to, to twenty twice a have, year though. Too. And if you have any questions, if you want to come out and see it, if you know we can eat, we're even there late Monday night, late Tuesday night, late Thursday night. If you want to come out after work, call five seven one six one six seven. That's Sheila's extension. There's always someone there that can. I mean, I'll give anybody a tour because I, I'd in, be happy to until well. you see it. It's hard to talk about. Right. Um, when you see it, you realize what it is. And when you it, listen, if you know anybody that's gone through the program, talk to them about it because that's the word of mouth is where it really is. Just like you know, you you both with brother in laws and and brothers and stuff. And them. ladies, do not disqualify yourself. I'm a girl dad. Women have better pay attention to detail. Uh, we have one in this class. We always want to. We want to strive for that. There's applications that, or there's a re, there's actually scholarship money available for the next class for the females as well. Just uh, just throw that out there. So this is a b- good time to apply. Absolutely. 
Okay. All right. Thanks a lot. We know that we're getting ready to see a lot of companies coming in. We're going to get you boys ready for that. Uh, we're going to get you employed. This class has always been employed before graduation. We're going That's to con- our goal. We're going to continue that trend with this next this class as well. All right? We're going to do it. Yes, sir. I, you 100%. have a lot of strong yes, personalities that will get it done. All right. Everybody get back. We'll get back to class. We'll see you later. Thanks a lot. Thank you.